There's a lot of psychology that this brother used in giving dawa. First, he didn't oppose you. He didn't oppose. He didn't come and criticize your religion. He didn't do any of that. He said, look, if your religion is better than my religion, I'll join it, right? So that was very smart. He put down your defenses, right? Because when someone attacks, you become defensive. So you, he didn't attack. And then he asked for proofs, right? Because the religion is based on proofs and he wanted to get that from you. And so when he was able to provide it and you weren't, it made him, it made you actually kind of question things. So there was a lot of wisdom, right? Because sometimes people get passionate about giving the dawa. They want to just kind of hammer someone. They want to tell them, I'm right, you're wrong. And that's not the methodology. And I want to find out about the character character of this man what was his character like that that it appealed to because we all know that the prophet sallallahu came to perfect our character right and that's something that many people forget about when they're giving dawah it becomes more about what they're preaching and sometimes they don't walk the talk they don't act in the way that is you know honest and then they're wondering why their dawah is not effective so what was his character like? Well, the character of Muhammad Abdurrahman is one that uh, I will never forget as long as I live, inshallah, because he was honest to a degree that I had never seen before. Mm -hmm. And he was forthright in all of his actions. He didn't pretend to be somebody he wasn't and he didn't deceive people. And mm. bigger than anything else was he didn't lie. Mm. He wouldn't lie, he wouldn't deceive people. Now, some people make a distinction between lying. They say, well, I wasn't lying, but I just didn't <laughs> tell all the truth. But the deception comes in whenever you are trying to tell part of a story, but you leave out other things or you emphasize something over here and you play down this over here. So it gives a, an imbalance. Right. And he didn't do that. Mm. If he said anything, you could take it to the bank because he would mm. say only what was a fact. And he, he didn't say much. He really didn't talk a lot. Mashallah. It sounds speak. like he had so many of the characteristics of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the fact Allah that, Allah. you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was known as Al-Amin. He was the most trustworthy. He didn't speak very much. And so how beautiful that this man who, you know, emulated the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was able to penetrate the heart of a minister, of a priest, and mashallah, and through that, you have been able to penetrate so many hearts, so many thousands and thousands of hearts. May Allah reward you for all that you do, and we have benefited tremendously from, from this inspirational talk, mashallah. If you were to give a, a, a word of advice to people who do give dawah, what would it be? I would like to advise myself to listen more than I speak. I have two mm. ears, but only one mouth. Yes. So I should listen twice as much as I talk. Beautiful advice. And, you know, not only in giving dawa, but also in relationships, you know, I'm, <laughs> I do marriage counseling. So I would say this applies also in, in marriages, in all relationships. So Jazakallah khairan for your time. We have benefited tremendously and may Allah bless you, bless your family and bless all that you do. We were so happy and excited to have you here. Mashallah. There, one final thing I would yes. say, even a fish even a fish wouldn't be in trouble if he'd learned how to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> right, that's and a good one. And stay guided with Guide Us TV and Huda TV.